Hello and welcome to one of my videos. If you don't know me, my name is Lisa Weigel and in this video I'm going to play you a song that I wrote for an event called Welcome to Clostrum and it was all about Charles Dickens and I didn't have any Charles Dickens songs so I felt I needed to write a song and I got other people involved well my audience or whoever watched my previous videos which you can see if you look at the playlists and all that somewhere on this channel but anyway back to the point yeah so the lovely Barry and Sam got me involved in running the stage and I didn't have a song about Charles Dickens so I got people involved to help me write as well and I want to say have a big shout out to Barry and Sam thank you for getting me involved loved it loved this opportunity for me to write this song which I'm I'm pretty pleased about actually and um, a big thank you to Emma Windsor Phillips Roy Speed, Rona Ray, and da -da -da, as well. Who else? Oh, of course, and R Riley McGuinness. Thank you so much for your input. I would not have written this song without your input, and I really, really do appreciate it. So thank you. Mwah. And here's the song. Here we go. <laughs> If you'd like to stay tuned for some more, 
um, it will be the story of how I come about writing the song. So, yeah, if you want to keep watching, or if you don't, turn me off, and I'll say bye for now. It all started with Barry and Sam. Fentiman Hall with the theme. The audience picked their favourite accordion piece. Then I went to work with the research. I started in my hometown, Rochester. I read, I collated information about the different buildings that was associated with Charles Dickens. Don't you think it's amazing when um, things start to come together when you put your mind to something of something that you want to create? Um, but, uh, there's quite a few different angles that I could have went with the song but I kind of I knew that I wanted to take my time with it because when I went into Restoration House, um, I did see Brona and she guided me to tell, to to go to um, Egypt Bay. I think which is in um, Hawling Marshes, um, which is a place where Charles Dickens would go to, and it was near a uh, Gad's Hill place, um, and it it sounded amazing. So I was, I, was, I didn't, wasn't sure, but when I went there. I didn't actually write the song there. I thought, oh, maybe I would, but I uh, and I took some beats with me. Um, but um, I was <laughs> I ended up doing some working on some other songs. But um, I could feel I could get the sense that um, of inspiration in that place. So um, which was nice. At this point, I hadn't had a clue of the chorus or anything, um, even though I, I had um, had some quotes by then, which is mainly uh, Philip, which with um, nobody is worthless in this world who lightens the burden of another. And then I did get uh, John, Johnny Barden did say about uh, pick a pocket or two, but that wasn't a Charles Dickens quote. That was just from... Oliver Twist, the musical, so I couldn't put that in. But when I, just before I was going to write all the lyrics out, because I already had the accordion idea, just, <laughs> um, I ended up getting a few other quotes, which was great. So um, Emma Windsor said, um, what greater the gift than the love of a cat? And then um, Anne um, also gave me the, the 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 winning quote which was um well it wasn't that there was a competition there wasn't any competition but um this helped me as well a lot with the chorus and it's um she sent me we forge the chains we wear in life a loving heart is the truest wisdom so I had that and then oh also I bumped into Brona Ray when I was walking somewhere and I hadn't written any of the song, but she told me about the sales of the tales of two cities, and um, that's how I come up with the bridge, and that's the quotes um, from the tale of two cities in the bridge. But I, I nearly, when I first was writing the song down, the ver working on the verses and that, I was thinking I was going to, I think. Um, put the whole of like it was the best of times it was the worst of times it was the age of wisdom and but there was a lot more to it to the that paragraph and I nearly put that in the song but it wasn't really working so I just edited it out because <laughs> I was thinking um it doesn't all have to be in there I can um ship shape it how I like because it's my song you know and I was just adding Charles Dickens some of Charles Dickens quotes because um and then I can't kind of come to that agreement with myself that um no I'm just gonna cut them bits up put them and then add them into that and then, and then once I got the chorus I don't know what I come up with first actually yeah it just all kind of come together really I don't know, just get a bit here, get a bit there.
shape, shape, shape it up. And then that's how I got the song. But yeah. Well, let me know what you like and uh, if you like it in the chorus, in the chorus, in the comments below. <laughs> and uh, yeah, is that, give me the thumbs up or um, yeah, or like yeah, any feedback is greatly received. Um, if you would like more videos from me, uh, do subscribe. And uh, until next time, bye for now.